Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my transformation and my crafting supplies storage, and I challenge myself to do it on a budget. I cannot wait to share this with you. Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome if you are new. Olivia Hurts, Olivia's Romantic Home. And in today's video, I cannot wait to share with you 10 DIY Dollar Tree and thrift store home decor and crafting supplies storage ideas, tips, and tricks. So if you guys are like me and you love to decorate on a budget and do it seasonally, you probably find that you have a lot of mixed up to jumble totes and bins and shelves full of crafting and home decor. So I just want to share with you guys some fun and easy solutions that can work really with any space to get that crafting and home home decor clutter under control. I know it is a constant struggle for me. You guys ask me all the time, how do I store my crafting supplies and my home decor? So I'm going to share it with you guys in this video. So without further ado, go ahead and grab some boss boxes, baskets, and some creativity, and let's get to tidy. So here is my real life crafty home decor little storage closet and it is a disaster. With all of the DIYs that I've been doing with Valentine's Day and Christmas and fall, I really needed to take a moment and reset and get it together and get it organized. So here is the after and this took about honestly two weeks and I would stop and start this project because organizing isn't as fun to me as crafting but I really like to have a tidy space. I'm going to share with you guys my entire process of how I was able to get some of this supplies under control and organized. So the first step is to pull out all of your home decor and all of your crafting supplies. Anything that you guys use to decorate with or do DIYs with, I suggest to pull it all out into a centralized area. For me, this is my little crafting um, studio space. It's actually just a little corner in my garage that I painted and made over but wherever you can maybe you want to put everything on a table but you want to pile everything together before you guys start organizing so you can see what you have the second step for me was to go ahead and take baskets and totes and separate all of my supplies into categories so um, one of them was home decor one of them was crafting supplies one of them was tablescape supplies uh, paper goods and so I just used all of the totes and storage containers that I had to go ahead and start that process. The other thing I recommend too is to have a donate pile and a trash can handy. So now I'm going to share with you guys some of the ways I began to micro organize some of my goodies. This is a container from Dollar Treats in the automotive section. With crafting supplies, I do have a lot of little bits and bobs that I want to hang on to. These little red truck um, bits and bobs, some little Christmas goodies, some pom poms. I have my little bling jewels and these Dollar Treats organizers I'm telling you they really hold a lot so here is what I came up with and I was able to organize everything into little compartments which will help me find things because when you're digging through just drawers of jumbled mess it's really hard to find your crafting supplies and I also love that you can kind of stack it on top of things I'm using this old secretary so I can open and close things now the next storage idea I have for you is if you love to collect beautiful plants like I do but maybe you're not displaying them year-round you want to find a cute little basket I found this at the thrift store and you can actually stack your plates very carefully in your basket now these are thrift store plates and garage sale plates I love them they're vintage China um, and they just fit perfectly in here and then I'm using this little garden cart I brought it inside so number one it doesn't weather outside and number two I have a little bit of extra storage and and so this little garden cart is perfect to stack all those goodies on. The next storage idea for you, I have for you guys is to take a lot of the florals that you're going to be working with. I did buy some tulips and um, we're going to be doing a tulip wreath DIY coming up, but go ahead and pop them into a basket. You don't have to keep your beautiful florals hidden. They're going to look beautiful displayed in and around your craft space or your home. Now the next DIY storage idea I have is to take 
take some different cereal boxes or I use this little oatmeal box and then take one of the Dollar Tree shoe boxes and micro organize it by using um, the little cardboard storage template on one side. You could also buy some plastic storage containers, but I love repurposing reusing what I already have. I already have um, containers with cereal boxes. You can just cut them down. They're great for storing craft supplies and organizing things. The next DIY I have for you guys is to maybe take some contact paper. You can buy contact paper at Dolly Tree. I actually had this left over from a project um, from a while back. I found it at Walmart and go ahead and put that on the front of your tote. It makes it super cute. And then another fun little DIY to make seasonal storage tags is to take those little Valentine's Dolly Tree hearts and right on there I'm writing flowers because that's what's in this tote and then I'm using some of those cute little Dollar Tree stickers and I'm going to add it in and around the little doily and seasonally I can change this out and just make a fun little storage tag. Another fun little DIY storage idea I have for you guys is to look for little fancy boxes at your thrift store or home decor stores and store your most precious crafting jewels in them. I love totallydazzle.com is where I get all my bling jewels. They're super inexpensive. I'll leave the link for you guys down below, but I store them in this fancy little box and that will help me remember that that's where I have all of my jewels. A fun and inexpensive way to store my glue sticks are putting them in this cup. I also like to put little wooden dowels or crafty straws that I might be using. It keeps everything standing upright and helps me know what I already have. The next storage solution that I have been using a lot of are little photo storage boxes. You can pick them up at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or I even find some at the thrift store and I like to take toilet paper rolls and go ahead and wrap my ribbon around the toilet paper rolls so I can reuse my ribbon seasonally. It helps it stay nicer just a little bit longer. You guys know I love to repurpose and reuse. I used a lot of ribbon at Christmas time and I don't want it to go to waste and so toilet paper rolls you can also take wrapping paper rolls and cut them in half. You can also take paper towel rolls. The sky is the limit with finding ways to use toilet paper rolls. You guys know I'm kind of the queen of that and so these little photo storage boxes though are great because you can kind of really keep your ribbon nice and organized and that way you kind of know what you have a little bit more and it's easy to get to. I even use the sides to clip some of these little Dollar Tree bows too. Now here's another fun storage solution that I'm using right now and I'm taking my baskets and I'm going up with them. So putting your baskets up above maybe kitchen cabinets or I'm using this little old secretary desk. I'm putting all of my baskets up here. That way I know what I have. So when I want to make a floral arrangement, all I have to do is grab something off the top of here. Another fun storage solution is to take unique items that you don't want to put in a cabinet that are home decor pieces. I have this beautiful little angel vase. I decided to use it to store my pipe cleaners in. I'm constantly sharing with you guys how to make bows and and making wreaths and I always need my pipe cleaners right there so I can just grab them really quickly and it was always very frustrating because I didn't have any place to grab them from and so now having this little cabinet is the perfect spot I'm even putting a fun little inspirational magazine back here for some decor you guys know I love decor and I used a lot of little pinks in here because it's Valentine's Day and then I stacked all my ribbon up top another thing I love to do is to keep my favorite cleaners on hand. This is my Mrs. Myers Peppermint Cleaner. I have a five piece free gift set with a $20 purchase. If you guys want to check that out, I will link it down below. Another fun way to store home decor is to group it together outside in your storage crafting area or in your home. So if you have a lot of pretty decor and you don't want to put it away, you can group it together in little clusters. I grouped these flowers together. I grouped the little white pieces together. And then another suggestion I have for you guys is to have a snack on hand. I like to have a healthy snack. This was rice cakes and peanut butter. It just really helps me um, stay hydrated and to where I don't get too hungry and grumpy. <laughs> 
Another fun storage solution for me is to give everything a coat of white paint. This is my little crafty uh, waste basket that I throw crafts in. I gave it a, a beautiful coat of white chalk paint, put a little liner in it, and voila, I have a lovely little crafty spot to throw my extra craft goodies in. Another thing I've decided to do is display my glitter. I'm constantly trying to hunt my glitter down, so I have this idea to pop it on top of this cake stand, and hopefully I won't always be losing it. So here is kind of a little close-up of how I organized my crafting supplies. I really think crafting supplies are actually really beautiful. We spend money on these supplies, so why not find ways to display them and make them look pretty, whether it be on a little shelf or in a cabinet or wherever you guys have maybe a little tiny space carved out for yourself. You could put up a little shelf or maybe use an old vintage and teak thing um, like this cabinet that I'm using just to display things and make them that extra special. So again, here is a peek at how my little crafty cabinet um, closet actually looked. Oh my goodness, it needed so much help. So this was kind of step one is just taking everything out. And then here is how it looked when I got a lot of things out and began to declutter. And then here is how it looks afterwards. If you can see those curtains up above, I hung those curtains to drop down over some of my Christmas boxes that weren't quite as pretty as I wanted them to be. And I also needed to use that extra fabric and get those beautiful curtains out of storage. So pull out some curtains and use them to drop down over some of your crafting supplies. If you guys can see up here, I just hung two little hooks and then just a rod you could I've even used a broomstick handle before and then another little storage solution I have for you guys is to go ahead and hang some of your extra signs so if you have pretty little Dollar Tree signs and you have a little closet or a lot of times I've even hung them in my laundry room go ahead and hang them up that way you know what you have and they're on display for when you guys need them for a DIY I also turned this little CD cabinet into a little kind of cake store storage cabinet and then here is my little crafty space this is seriously a corner in my garage i'll leave the video down below of how i did my little garage transformation to make this beautiful little crafting space oh my goodness it just makes my heart sparkle and shine comment and let me know what was your favorite tip in this video will you guys be trying any of these I want to remind you that when you're decluttering and organizing your home decor and craft supplies, it is progress and not perfection. I know it's so easy to get caught up in everything needing to look perfect, but if you guys just focus on making small progressive steps and it not being perfect, I didn't even feel like this was perfect enough to show you guys, but I was just hoping that it would motivate you guys and help give you guys some ideas of how to get your craft supplies and home decor storage under control. So here is my bargain shopper outfit of the day. I found this little pink dress at Belk. It was on clearance. It was like eight or nine dollars and then I just have it paired with this white swimsuit cover up but i wear it as a little duster jacket i'll link it for you guys down below it's super inexpensive and then i just have some little thrift store kind of jeans it is still winter and pretty cold here so i would just normally really wear this with like sandals and leggings and then i just have some little short boots so this is kind of i guess a winter edition of how i would wear this i did show this um little shirt with um earlier in another outfit of the day and I had a black sweater but I wanted to share with you guys how it would look with the white duster in case you guys had picked that up it looks really pretty um, with the pastel color and then I just have these cute little thrift store earrings so again kind of a 90s throwback for you guys anyway I thank you guys and I love y'all sweet home series we did three diy french farmhouse decor crafts as well as six winter glam we did a diy trash to treasure flea market project for my mantle 10 diys for christmas recap as well as cooking six diys free after christmas takedown a huge awesome dolly tree valentine's day haul and a bunch of dolly tree valentine's day wreaths and florals already so just definitely check it out i'm going to link it down below for you 
So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. Again, this is episode 14 in my huge home sweet home series. If you guys are new and you love to do fun and fabulous crafty decor projects on a teeny tiny budget, definitely consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. Hit the subscribe button. There's a little bell that will notify you every time I upload a new video. I do three videos a week on YouTube with a ton of Dollar Tree and a thrift store DIYs. I love to share with you guys how you can have a fabulous, amazing home on a teeny tiny budget. I want to encourage you guys to keep going on your decluttering and organizing adventure. I think it feels so good once you get through the process, but I kept having to tell myself progress, not perfection. So give yourself so much grace through this process. And also I guarantee you guys are going to find some treasures in the midst. So thank you guys again. I'm hugging you all so tight.